So let's have the second part of the discussion, and that is the factor theorem. Now, factor theorem states that for a polynomial f of x, if f of a is equal to 0, then we can say that x minus a is a factor of f of x. Now, the process of using factor theorem is somehow the same as the remainder theorem since they are both using substitution property. But the only difference here, when, when f of a is equal to 0, then, meaning to say, that is a factor theorem, it, it is because there is no remainder. However, if you use f of a and then the result is non-zero, then meaning to say, class, the divisor that you are dividing to dividend is not a factor of the given f of x. Now, in relation with the factor theorem, conversely class, we can say if x minus a is a factor of a polynomial f of x, then we can say that f of a is equal to 0. What does this mean? Meaning to say class, when you have a divisor, a bin binomial divisor, and the f of a becomes 0, meaning to say class, the binomial or the divisor is considered as one of the factors of the given then f of x. So let's have an um, example. Let f of x be equal to 2x cubed plus x squared minus 7x minus 6. Now, use the factor theorem to determine which of the following is one of the factors. We have the first, which is x minus 1, and the second is 2x plus 3. So, let's use factor theorem to determine if... Uh, to determine which of these two is one of the factors of the given polynomial. So, let's have the first situation, x minus 1. So, the constant quotient here is negative 1. So, we get the opposite of this, which will be positive 1. So, therefore, the function that you will use is f of 1. So, solving this, or solving f of 1, this will be 2 times the quantity of 1 cube plus 1 squared minus 7 times 1 minus 6. So we just substitute plus the 1 to all the excess. So evaluating this, 1 cube is 1, so times 2 is 2 plus 1. Then 7 times 1 is 7, so minus 7 minus 6. Then 2 plus 1 minus 7 minus 6 is equal to negative 10. Obviously, there is, or what does this mean? Meaning to say, class, when we divide 2x cubed or the given f of x to x minus 1, there is a remainder. Thus, x minus 1 is not e, a factor of the um, given f of x. So let's proceed with the second problem. So let's have the second problem. Now, the given binomial or divisor is 2x plus 3, meaning to say class, the function that you will use is the opposite of the constant. However, there is a leading coefficient that is not 1. So therefore, divide both sides by 2, your f of x here, or the value of x here is negative 3 halves. Okay, so using f of negative 3 halves, substituting the value of f of x to the, to the given f of x, this will be 2 times negative 3 halves raised to the third power plus the quantity of negative 3 halves to the second power minus 7 times negative 3 halves minus 6. Evaluating the exponents, this will be 2 times negative 3 over 2 to the third power is negative 27 over 8. Then negative 3 um, halves to the third to the second power is 9 fourths. Then negative 7 times negative 3 is 21 over 2 minus 6. So combining this or evaluating, we all know that we can cancel 2 and 8. That becomes negative 27 over 4 plus 9 fourths. Just copy them. 9 fourths plus 21 over 2 minus 6. 
Then combining similar terms, we can have, or combining negative 27 over 4 to 9 fourths, this will be negative 18 over 4, which can be reduced to lowest term, and that becomes negative 9 halves, plus copy 21 over 2 minus 6. Then combine negative 9 halves to 21 over 2, so negative 9 plus 21 is, neg is positive, 12 over 2, which we all know, that can be written as, or divisible, which we all know, that 12 is divisible by 2. So 12 over 2 is 6, minus 6, and that becomes 0. So since negative 3 halves result to, results to 0, meaning to say, the given binomial 2x plus 3 is the factor that we are, I mean, is one of the factors. So the answer here is letter B. So let's have another. Given f of x, which is equal to x cubed plus 6x squared plus 5x minus 12, show that x minus 1 is a factor of f of x. So for us to solve this problem, all we have to do, all we have to do is to show the result would be 0. Unless, if non-zero, meaning to say x minus 1 is not the factor of the given f of x. So, um, the given f of x is x cubed plus 6x squared plus 5x minus 12. Substitute um, the given f of x. Well, this time, our f of x here is positive 1. So, f of 1. Substitute 1 to all the x's. This will be 1 cube plus 6 times the quantity of 1 squared plus 5 times 1 minus 12. So, Evaluating this, 1 cubed is 1, 1 squared is 1 times 6 is 6, then 5 times 1 is 5, minus 12. 1 plus 6 plus 5 is 12, minus 12 is 0, which shows that this 1, or the given x minus 1, is a factor of f of x, since, the, since there is no remainder.